Thank you. I believe the member of Ballin is seeking leave. Is leave granted? Yes. Leave is granted. I call the member for Ballin. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Tomorrow marks a very important anniversary for Stolen Generations members and their families, as it will be 20 years since the Bringing Them Home report. And um, I commend uh, the member for Wyong for this matter of, pub of public <coughs> importance. Uh, this was incredibly significant for Stolen Generations in the 1970s, because for the first time this era, this terrible history, uh, was presented with very, a, a very clear roadmap to the future. The Healing Foundation has been coordinating commemorative activity, activities around the 20th anniversary of the Bringing Them Home report under the banner hashtag, hashtag BTH20, which we've all been wearing in the chamber today. The Healing Foundation also has called for urgent action to address the impacts of unresolved trauma and announced initiatives to generate greater awareness of stolen generations' issues in schools and communities. And what I don't want to do, Mr Speaker, is, is, is cite statistics because, of course, that in a way is a kind of colonisation of people to only refer to them with regard to very, very serious statistics. But it is important to go back to the history and the 54 recommendations and note that, unfortunately, things have not improved in many, many spheres. The latest figures from June 2016 reveal that 16,846 <coughs> Aboriginal children are in out-of-home care, compared to under 3,000 when, when the report was first tabled. So when we think about the stolen generations, when we think about the intergenerational trauma, and we reflect on those figures, we need to go back to the drawing board. Uh, since the 2008 National Apology, Aboriginal children in care has increased by 65 per cent. We need to ask ourselves why 20 years from the report we're seeing a record number of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children in out-of-home care. The Healing Foundation's latest report has outlined four priorities to achieve long-term change, and they've urged the federal government to adopt them. A comprehensive needs analysis to inform the delivery of more effective services, to actually measure these services. And I've said in this chamber before when I worked as a lawyer in the NT, the amount of services that are not actually, they're not put into practice because um, they're really, they're thrown at service uh, um, providers and they don't, ha they're not accountable enough. Establish a national scheme for reparations, coordinate compulsory training around stolen generations trauma so that the organisations working with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities are better equipped to provide effective and appropriate services, and finally to initiate a comprehensive study of intergenerational trauma and how to tackle it. I know that we all, we all want this to improve, and it's time that we really put the energy into the very difficult task of empowering Aboriginal people to find solutions themselves. Thank you. Thank you.